I'm a rock star. Every day I rock hard. I'm a motherfucking rock star. Every day I rock hard. I'm a rock star. Hi, rock stars. I'm Allie, your rock star bar girl. And this video is all about the daiquiri. A really important cocktail for you to know. I consider the daiquiri to sort of be the counterpart to the old-fashioned in terms of how important it is that you understand it and know how to work with it. Where the old-fashioned really teaches you how to build a booze forward or spirit forward cocktail properly, the daiquiri teaches you how to work with citrus. The definition of a daiquiri is basically any cocktail that's made of rum, citrus juice, typically lime juice, and a sweetener, like simple syrup or agave. We can never really track down the accurate origins of these things, but supposedly this drink was created by an American mining engineer down in Cuba named Jennings Cox. And that cocktail may have been brought to America around 1902. When most of us think of a daiquiri, we think of some frozen concoction made in a blender that's super, super sweet, served in a novelty glass and garnished with like a cherry and some fruit on top. And this is the type of daiquiri you are probably going to make if you work in a sports bar, a dive bar, a high volume chain restaurant, or a restaurant with some type of tropical theme. And to build those, you're basically just going to throw some prepackaged limeade, some sweet, syrupy, fruity flavoring stuff, some rum and some ice in a blender, and then serve. But nowadays, the craft revolution is in full swing, and it's really important that you know how to make a proper daiquiri. If you are asked how you make a daiquiri on an interview, they are probably not referring to the frozen version, and you are going to want to know how to build one from scratch. The daiquiri, like the old fashioned, is both a classic and a craft cocktail that enjoys many, many variations. And bartenders will argue all day and night about the perfect proportions and the perfect ingredients. But generally speaking, you're looking for one and a half ounces of a dry rum, three quarters of an ounce of a quality sweetener, and one ounce of fresh lime juice. So first, let's talk about those ingredients. Before I build our daiquiri, I'll briefly tell you about the ingredients that we're going to use. So first, we have the lime juice component. When it comes to making a proper daiquiri, we are talking about fresh squeezed lime juice. Um, at your bar, if you work in a casual environment, you will often work with Rose's sweetened lime. This is not what we are talking about. That is a concentrated lime syrup. This is fresh squeezed lime juice. In some cocktail bars, you might actually have to squeeze each lime per drink as you make them. But more common, you or your bar back will squeeze limes at the beginning of a shift and store them in a container for easy pouring. That's what I did before this video. I squeezed a bunch of limes and made fresh lime juice. Then we need our sweetener. This right here in the jar is just some simple syrup that I have in the fridge. Simple syrup, again, if you don't remember, is simply sugar, granulated white sugar, dissolved in water. This simple syrup is one-to-one, -one, which means that it's equal parts sugar and equal parts water. I, for this recipe, am going to be using an agave syrup that I made, which is simply equal parts agave and equal parts water. For our rum, I am going to be using the Brugal Extra Dry. And most cocktailers will tell you that using a dry white rum is the best way to go for this particular cocktail. Now, if you don't remember all your notes about rum, where it comes from, what it's made of, and popular brands, definitely make sure to click above and check out the liquors video to refresh your memory. But in the rum category, we have all different variations of how rum can be made and what products of sugar cane can be used um, to get the rum in the first place. And when it comes to a dry rum, it's going to be crisper and less sweet than most of those other variations. So it lends itself really well to a daiquiri because that dry, crisp rum allows the tart of the lime and the sweetness of the agave to really shine through. 
Dry rum also prevents the drink from being too sweet. To build this cocktail, we are going to need a shaker. I'm going to be using a Boston shaker, 10 ounce and 20 ounce size tins. I am going to be using a jigger for this one, I know, right? But um, this is one of those cocktails where you really want to be precise about your measurements, so I'm going to use a jigger to help me out. You're also going to want a strainer. This is a Hawthorne strainer, and it fits perfectly into a Boston shaker. And finally, we are going to need a glass. The daiquiri is typically served straight up, so I'm going to be using a martini glass. So step one in building our daiquiri and really in building any straight up cocktail is going to be to chill our martini glass. Definitely check out the video on glassware so that you can cover all the important points about martini glasses. But right now I've just got a couple of cubes of ice and some water in mine so that the glass is nice and cold when I'm done building my drink. I'm going to start off with my sweetener. That is my agave syrup and I need three quarters or 0.75 of an ounce of my sweetener. Then I need one whole ounce of my fresh lime juice. And I need one and a half ounces of my dry rum. To this I'll add my ice. Before I shake this, I'm just going to get rid of my ice water so that my glass is ready to go. I'm also going to add my garnish to this now so that once I'm done pouring, the drink is ready for the guest. The garnish for a daiquiri is a lime, so I'm just going to place that on the side of my glass, place my glass on top of a coaster or a napkin, and now it's ready. To shake my cocktail, I'm going to place my shaker on top, make sure that it's secure, and turn. I'm going to shake vigorously to make sure that it is nice and cold. And then I am going to free my shaker and it's ready to strain. Using my Hawthorne strainer, I'm going to strain my daiquiri right into my glass. And this is your daiquiri. Oh my God, it's a delicious cocktail. An important one for you to know. This is one of those cocktails that I like to keep in my back pocket. You can play with it and different variations. on the daiquiri just like with the old-fashioned I encourage you to look them up especially variations like the Floridita and the Hemingway I will post the recipes to those variations at the end of this video so if you found this video helpful definitely make sure to like it if you have any questions or comments please leave them for me down below make sure to subscribe 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 and follow me on Instagram at rockstar underscore bar girl as usual I will see you guys in the next video bye rockstars